This is not something that you can get down at Primark Tottenham Court Road, is it? No. <laughs> I wish you could. Could you imagine? Hello everybody, hope you're all well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video. I'm back with a look around Primark, as promised. We're gonna go and have a look at all the homeware and see what's in. I know that some of the autumn homeware is in store. And I'm also going to share with you my trip to the Sky Garden. The Sky Garden's completely free to go to. You just need to book some tickets in advance. And yeah, today was the day. So I've been to the Sky Garden, had a look around there. Then I went to Primark, bought a few bits, which I will be showing you at the end of the video. There is some autumn stuff in there. And yeah, we'll have a good look around Primark home. Hello, pumpkin. You come see everybody. Come and say hello then. Mm -hmm. Do you want to see what I got from Primark? Let's jump in into the footage of the Sky Garden. The Sky Garden is London's highest public garden with 360 degree views over London. The view of the Thames and the Shard is spectacular and you can get a great view of Tower Bridge and can even see the London Eye. Your visit lasts one hour, which is plenty of time to enjoy the views and the gardens themselves. There's two bars and a couple of restaurants and there's plenty of tables which you're welcome to sit at. I thought the prices were okay considering the location and there's also free water available at the bar. The Sky Garden is fully accessible with level access and the best bit is it's completely free to visit. Free tickets are released every Monday morning, excluding bank holidays, three weeks in advance for the whole week, and it's open seven days a week. So if you're coming to London soon, three weeks in advance, book your tickets and enjoy this spectacular garden in the sky for free. Yeah, highly recommend doing the Sky Garden if you do get the opportunity to. If you're visiting London in the future, I would have a look online now and see if you can book yourself a trip there. I'll link the website for the Sky Garden in the description box. So next up, let's head to Primark on Tottenham Court Road for a look at all the homeware. I did see some autumn fashion has come into store, but I resisted vlogging that because, yeah, I was just focusing on the homeware, which is kind of what I was looking for. The autumn homeware is in store. I realise we're in the middle of August and we've got beautiful weather again here in London. It's a lovely hot day again here today. So very much enjoying the rest of summer, but I did want to share with you everything that's in store as it seems to be selling already. And yeah, I know that you like to see what is new in Primark. So let's jump in and have a look around the store. I get so excited when I come into this part of Primark. So into homeware, we go. First thing that caught my eye was these rather unusual mugs at three pounds each. I love the design on those. A few bits of the summer kind of garden wear has gone into the sale. These are the plates I was telling you about, reduced to two pounds. I thought those were great for a little side plate. And autumn is in store, so I spotted these coffee jars. I like the retro print on those. And then we have these large pumpkin casserole style dishes in this kind of grey or greyish colour for £16, quite a lot for Primark. They had smaller ones as well in this nice green colour for £6 each and then they had them in orange too. I love these dishes for nibbles with a pumpkin design for £6. You get three sections, thought they would be really good for autumn. These chopping boards caught my eye but the finish on them didn't look too great. They kind of got a bit scratched up so I actually preferred this wooden style one, the natural wood, and this was priced at seven pounds. They had some really nice plant pots in store, still lots of summery stuff, and I like this one with the floral design at seven pounds. I thought that was lovely. And then this caught my eye. I think this is a really striking piece with the blue leaves on it. I just thought that was lovely, priced at 10 pounds for that. I think that would look really nice on a shelf. They had some of these LED candles, these are the battery operated ones that actually come with the remote control, which could be quite useful, priced at £10 for three, all at different heights. Now this lamp, I wasn't sure about the panel in the middle, I thought it was actually a piece of foam to protect the brassware, but it is actually a piece of wood as part of the design, <laughs> so I wasn't sure about that. These are the Firefly lights that I featured recently, as you can see Primark can't make up its mind with the price of these. 
and there are those black stickers that I was telling you about, so watch out for those. I'm guessing you'll pay £2.50 now. These caught my eye, these neon curtain lights. I think these look like they would be really atmospheric, especially if you were having like a movie night, something to go maybe in a bedroom. And these mini mushroom lamps I thought would be a really nice thing for teenagers. I think they'd like to plug those into their laptops. These strip lights are quite cool. For £2 each, you can use these in the kitchen or inside cupboards, wardrobes, under shelving. And then in the pink and purpley section, they had little pumpkin candles for £2, if that's your colour theme. They also had little cute toadstool candles as well. Loads of autumn candles are in store now, and we have these larger pumpkin design ones in this kind of orangey colour, I guess you'd call that, for £5 each. And then ones in the glass with the autumn leaves scent. These ones were £6 each and I thought the container on those was rather nice with the little glass lid. And then we have unscented ones at £3 each. They had these geranium and guava candles at £5 each and this pumpkin caramel latte one smelled amazing. And this one comes in a tin at £2.50. They also had these little plain white unscented ones at £1.50 each. I really like the design of these ceramic candle jars. These are £6 each. I didn't um, manage to sniff this one, but yeah, I love the shape of the container. They also have cedarwood and vanilla room diffusers, and this one was £3. They had a few reductions, including these candles down to £1. And then these really sweet squirrel design candles. These ones were £3.50. Lots more reductions in store. Some vases down to £1 each. And then I really liked these little ceramic owls. I thought those were really sweet. Those were £3.50 each. And I also had these little ceramic hedgehogs. I really like the glaze on these. These were also £3.50. And there wasn't many in stores, so I think they're selling fast. They also had these toadstool ones for £3.50 as well. These were really nice, these little pumpkins made out of like raffia for £3.50 each. I thought they were very sweet. As you can see, there's a whole section of the autumn homeware here, including those rather nice larger pumpkins. Lots that caught my eye in here. First of all, we have these light up ones. I have one similar from Poundland actually. These were £9, so quite pricey again. I think those were definitely a lot cheaper a few years ago. These pumpkins, again, we've looked at those already for £5. And then these cloches with the kind of autumn foliage in that light up for £7. Cloches, is that a word? <laughs> we also have these fir cone or pine cone candles at £3.50. And these very sweet little metallic pumpkin candles and those were priced at £2.50 for the set of three. I thought this was a steal, this heart little ornament for £2.50. I thought that was rather nice. And then we have these sets of tea lights and those are priced at £2, which I thought was really good. And then these squishy pumpkins with the boucle, I think it is, fabric for £7 each. This throw felt so lovely and soft for just £30. I thought that was really luxurious. Then we have this two pack of candles priced at £2. And then this wreath, I thought this was fantastic. £14 for this wreath. I think that just screams autumn, doesn't it? Some of the vases in Primark I just thought looked so expensive. The crackled glaze on that I just thought looked fab. These lanterns also caught my eye. I thought those were rather nice for the garden. They are £10 each and they have a solar light in them so you could pop them on an outdoor table. And these baskets with the kind of square shape I thought would be really good for storage. They also had these green ceramic pumpkins in a nice kind of olive green colour at £4 each and some autumn foliage stems at £1.50 a stem. More plant pots, so I had to be very restrained as I was going around. I thought these ones were fab as well. And I really liked this vase as well. For £7, I thought that was a really cool and interesting design. 
I was humming and hawing over these pumpkins, as you can probably tell. <laughs> this cushion caught my eye. It was quite a small one, but for seven pounds, a nice pop of orange. I just thought the kittens' claws would probably have a field day with that. They also had this owl design candle, similar to the squirrel one. I thought that was really sweet. And this throw was 18 pounds, really furry, that one. I thought that was very nice too. And also these furry cushions priced at 12 pounds, kind of reminded me of Miss Oni, the design on this one. I thought that was rather nice with the colors on there. Into the foliage section, and they had these really nice autumn garlands. These had these velvety pumpkins on them, lots of different leaves, some different flowers, pine cones, so lots of detail on these. And they're probably big enough to do, say, across your mantelpiece, that sort of thing. And the price was £12, which I thought was really good for the amount of detail on those. They also had these half wreaths on the metal hoop priced at £7, which I thought was a really good price too. And these olive stems as well, I haven't seen these in store before, these were £3 per stem. And then this wreath, again with the velvety pumpkins on it and lots of detail, was priced at £14, which I thought was fab. These vases remind me of the popular ones from H&M and those were priced at £10 each. They had lots of prints in store. This reminded me of flicking through the posters in Woolworths back in the day. Who used to do that? <laughs> and I like the design of these. Quite a few different ones. Ones that would go in a kitchen maybe or just a nice um, bright poster for anywhere in your home. I like this Amalfi one, love the colours on that. And they also had this really nice blue and white one, this Mykonos print as well, the leaves, and the Margarita one I thought was great. The best bit being these are just £1.50 each. They also had some autumn napkins with these autumn leaf designs. These were £1.50 for a pack. And I also spotted this leaf design bowl. This was £6, I could only see one of them in store, so I think these might have been Quite popular and then this cheesecloth tablecloth for £10 reminded me of Kath Kidston I thought that was really good Halloween is in store already can you believe it they've got some decorations out so if you wanted to stock up on those early they are in store now I did like this LED pumpkin light for £6 and they had this sweet little ghost mug priced at £3.50 these LED pumpkin stick lights would be great for lining your garden path for trick-or-treaters. They had some little light-up ceramic pumpkins at £3.50 each. And this ghost cushion I thought was very cute for £8. I thought he was really cool. They also have ceramic ghosts that light up for £3.50. And these kind of web pumpkin wreath things I guess you'd call them. These tea towels were £5 for two, and I did like the little legs that dangle down from the pumpkin on this one. <laughs> I thought those were great. They have a nice cat mug priced at £3.50. And this boo cushion, again priced at £8, would look really nice next to the ghost one as a pair. If you're new here, don't forget to click subscribe for weekly videos. Now let's see everything that I picked up in Primark Home. So I hope you enjoyed a look around store with me in Primark. Oh my goodness, you need to see Mittens. She is sunbathing. Take a look at this. Wherever there's a patch of sun, you can guarantee either pumpkin or Mittens will find <laughs> pumpkins going in for a little look now. Look at that. You're just tanning your tail, pumpkin. <laughs> They do love the sunspots around the flat. So how are we all doing? Let me know in the comments down below how you are, if you had a good week, and what are you up to this weekend? Let me know if you've been doing anything exciting. Have you got the good weather where you are as well? Here in London it is really lovely now. So yeah, thoroughly enjoying the good weather. I'm back to filming this week as well. So it's busy, busy again. And I've been a bit run down. I don't know about you, but I think there's been a bit of a summer cold going around, so um, that's definitely got me. So I'll be having a quiet evening this evening. But yeah, let me show you the bits that I got from Primark. Only got a few bits. I wonder if you can guess what it was that I picked up. Have a little guess. The first thing that I got was this candle. Now, of all the candles that I had a look at in Primark and that I sniffed, 
I thought this one was the nicest. It's pumpkin caramel latte and it's a little metal tin. I thought the design on this was actually really sweet. This was £2.50 and it's quite a decent size. If I can get the lid off. <laughs> And it smells really good. It just smells like that classic kind of sweet pumpkin candle smell. Similar to the ones that you get in home scents, I would say. And a really good price, £2.50 for that size, I thought was brilliant. So yeah, that's the only candle that I picked up because I do have quite a few already. I need to get out my autumn home decor bits. I need to get out my autumn candles and just kind of have a little bit of a check through what I've already got so that I don't make any unnecessary purchases. But I will still share everything that I see in the shops with you because we do like a browse here, don't we? Uh, the other thing that I got in terms of home fragrance was this little diffuser. It's only a small one, but quite a nice size, I thought, to pop in the ensuite bathroom. It says it lasts up to four weeks. This was just one pound, so a really good price for this. And it's cedarwood and vanilla. So yeah, I thought I'll get that and pop it into the ensuite bathroom up here. The last thing that I got, so I was quite restrained. There was lots of beautiful bits, but as I say, I haven't really been through my autumn stuff in the cupboard here. And yeah, I just didn't want to be buying like loads of pumpkins. Saying that, <laughs> I did spot something which I thought was rather fabulous and it had to come home with me. And it is this beautiful wreath. If you've been here for a while, you'll know it's no surprise that I picked up a wreath. I don't have one like this. And as far as an autumn wreath goes, I think that this ticks all the boxes. I absolutely love all the colouring on it. I like the various leaves, foliage, flowers. We've got berries on here. We've got like larger berries, little bits of, it looks like kind of like um, wheat. <laughs> and we also have pine cones and of course the pumpkins, which are wrapped in this really lovely velvet fabric. So it looks quite luxurious. I think this is a really good wreath. And the price on this was 14 pounds, which I thought was really good value. They had another one for 14 pounds. It wasn't quite as full as this one. It didn't have the pumpkins on it, just had kind of flowers. It was really nice as well, but I think for an autumn wreath, this is, this is perfect. Perfection. I feel like if you want one of these, it might be worth popping into your local Primark home sooner rather than later, because there wasn't loads of them in store. They also had garlands too, which I thought um, were really good. So yeah, I feel like I want to look through it. Just to <laughs> give you the scale. Pumpkin, what do you think? Do you like it? I'm very pleased with my autumn wreath. <laughs> and where to hang it is the next question. I think I'm gonna decorate up here for autumn. I think it'd be quite nice to make it nice and autumn-y up here. Oh, Pumpkin's just lying down now on the rug. Sprawled out, I know it's warm up here, isn't it? He's like sprawled out on the rug, starfishing. Um, you could also put this flat, I guess, couldn't you, as well, and have it on a table, maybe with like, a centerpiece um, with some like pillar candles poking through. They had the um, electronic ones or the um, rechargeable ones Ooh, in Primark too, didn't they? So you could maybe pop the three of those like tiered up in the center of that. But yeah, really pleased with that. And I think that's a fantastic price, isn't it? And now Pumpkin's sniffing it, of course he is. <laughs> so yeah, I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you enjoyed the look around the Sky Garden with me. I'll leave the website for that in the description box. And the look around Primark Home. Let me know in the comments. Don't eat it <laughs> if anything caught your eye. I have to hang this, I think, out of reach <laughs> when I hang this one up. It's too exciting for him. So yes, um, that's it for this one. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do give the video a thumbs up. If you're new here, do subscribe for new videos every week. I've got lots of makeover videos on the way, more shopping vlogs and more general vlogs as we continue summer and head into autumn. Pumpkin is now inside the Primark bag. <laughs> you are bonkers, you know that. We love it. What are you doing in here? <laughs> what are you doing? This is not something that you can get down at Primark Cotton Court Road, is it? No. <laughs> I wish you could. Could you imagine? So um, it's time for us to say goodbye. So <laughs> I'll let Pumpkin have a little play in the bag. You know what he loves? Is if I pick it up and swing it. <laughs> he really enjoys it. So he's in here having a great time. I wish I could show you. Maybe if I cut a little 
tear a little ho um, hole in the front of his face. It looks like we found a game to play <laughs> for the rest of this afternoon. I'll make sure that <laughs> he's safely out of the bag. And yeah, it's time to say goodbye. So enjoy the rest of your day or evening, whatever time it is that you're watching this one. Don't forget you can always catch me over on Instagram and TikTok as well if you're on there. I'm sharing bits and pieces over on those. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Let's buy some pumpkin too. <laughs> say goodbye. <laughs> Bye.